The first $100,000 is always the hardest and it always takes the longest. What can Aries Sansa do? She's going absolutely full tilt. She's breaking the world record. So in this video, I'm going to share some strategies to help you get to your first $100,000. Please keep in mind that I'm not a financial advisor and it is important to do your own research. So these are the five strategies that we use to go from $0 to $100,000 in three years. Yes, we're gonna get there. The first thing we did was calculate our net worth. This is so that you can understand where you're starting from. Okay, great. Let me calculate my net worth. Well, the good thing is the only place to go from here is up. Your net worth is your assets minus your liabilities. Assets includes things like your retirement savings, cash savings, any investments you have, for example, stocks or crypto or property. Oh yes, that's right. I have my Pokemon card collection. Liabilities are debts, including credit card debt, student loans, personal loans, car loans, and also home loans as well. The second step is to create a budget. To create a budget, it's important to first consider your income and also your expenses. Your income is all of the money that comes into your bank account after tax. Yes, come into this wallet. I love income streams. And your expenses are all of the things that you need to pay for to live. Wait, where do you think you're going? You think you can get away from me that easy? It's important to go through your expenses from the past couple of months to get an idea of how much money you're spending roughly per month and how much money is left over at the end of each month. To do this, I highly recommend this free app called WeMoney and you can download it for free using the link in my description below. And if you sign up with my link, we both get a free $5. Once you've had a look at your expenses from the past couple of months, you can then start to get an understanding of how much money you can roughly save and invest each month. And also if there are any expenses that you can cut back on so that you can save and invest even more money. What? I'm still paying for my Tinder subscription? I thought I canceled that. Which leads me to my third point, which is to create a plan. The more money that we can save and invest each month, the faster we will be able to reach our goal of saving $100,000. If you can save $1,500 per month, it would take you 66 months in order to reach $100,000. However, if you decided to invest $1,500 instead of saving $1,500 with an annual interest rate of 8% per year, it could potentially save you 11 months, which means that it would only take 57 months in order to reach $100,000. And let's just say for example you are able to cut back on your expenses or increase your income so instead of saving $1,500 per month you are able to save $2,000 per month then potentially it will take you 18 months less in order to reach that $100,000 goal so instead of taking 66 months to reach $100,000 it would only take you 50 months in order to reach $100,000 and if you decided to invest $2,000 per month instead of saving $2,000 per month with an annual average interest rate of 8% instead of taking 50 months to reach $100,000 it would only take you 45 months to reach $100,000 so when you are looking to save your first $100,000 I think it's important to make a plan like this set a target for how much money you would like to save and invest each month and this can help you stay motivated to reaching your goal of $100,000 hmm should I buy this thing for $500 no remember saving and investing an extra $500 per month can help you get closer to reaching your goal. So the fourth step is to find ways to save some more money in your budget. Some things that really helped us save more money is meal prepping and also making our coffee at home. These small savings can really add up to a lot of money at the end of each year and can help you reach your goals even faster. For example, spending $20 on lunch per day adds up to $7,280 in a year. Spending $4 on coffee per day adds up to $1,456 in a year. So that's a potential saving of $8,736 in a year. Whoa, that's how much my coffee is costing me in a year? The fifth step is to find extra ways to increase your income. It would have taken Pablo and I a lot longer to reach our $100,000 goal if we were still on minimum wage. If you could make an extra $1,000 per month from a side hustle, this can help you reach your goal a lot faster. And even if you are able to make an extra $500 per month, as we saw in the example, saving an extra $500 per month, so instead of $1,500 per month, we make that $2,000 per month, 
that can potentially cut 18 months off the time that it takes to get to $100,000. Okay, fine, you've made your point. I'm not going to buy the $500 thing. And the final step is to consider investing instead of saving. As we know, the banks are not paying very high interest rates on savings accounts. Thank you for using our bank. So you have $10,000 with us, so I can give you $1. Here you go. Thank you for using our bank. Whereas the stock market has an average annual return of 10%. If we use a conservative estimate of 8% returns per year, this could also help us reach our goals even faster. As we saw in the example, investing $1,500 per month instead of saving $1,500 per month with an average annual interest rate of 8% can potentially cut 11 months off the time it takes us to reach $100,000. Wow, 11 months is a long time. Of course, these are just estimated returns and they are not guaranteed. Here are some options to invest. So you could potentially get started with micro investing apps. These apps allow you to invest small amounts of money from $5. And I do have some affiliate links down in my description below to Spaceship. Or you could potentially try out a brokerage platform, for example, Perla or Stake. And I do have some affiliate links down in my description below. If you sign up with my link, you can get a free stock with Stake. And with Perla, you'll also get a free brokerage credit. As we can see, reaching our first $100,000 is challenging, but it can be done with the right mindset and the right strategies in place. Yes, I can do it because I subscribe to Invest With Queenie. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And once we reach that $100,000, it gets easier and easier and easier to make more money. For example, an 8% return on $10,000 is only $800, but an 8% return on $100,000 is $8,000. And an 8% return on $200,000 thousand dollars is sixteen thousand dollars there is a famous quote from charlie munger who is warren buffett's right hand man this is what the quote says the first one hundred thousand dollars is a bitch but you gotta do it. I don't care what you have to do. If it means walking everywhere and not eating anything that wasn't purchased with a coupon, find a way to get your hands on $100,000. After that, you can ease off the gas a little bit. Hold up, this is a robbery. I only need $100,000. After the $100,000, then Charlie says I can relax. And I just think that it's so true. It took us a lot of work to reach $100,000, but in the last year, we were able to increase our net worth by over $150 thousand dollars. It was a lot easier and faster for us to increase our net worth by $150,000. And I wanted to share this example with you just to show you how much easier it does become to make more money once you do have that first $100,000. And I would like to give credit to the Family Finance YouTube channel for giving me this inspiration and idea of putting it together in this way. So if we were able to invest $10,000 per year with an average annual return of 8% per year, it would take us 29 years in order to reach over a million this is how long it would take to reach each milestone of $100,000. So it would take us eight years to reach our first $100,000 after investing $10,000 per year. The second $100,000 would take five years. The third $100,000 would take three years. The fifth $100,000 would take two years. And the ninth $100,000 would only take one year. And the tenth $100,000 would only take one year. So as you can see, once we pass that first hurdle of having our first $100,000, the next $100,000 comes easier and easier and easier because of this beautiful thing called compound interest. Ah yes, compound interest. That's why everybody loves me. Thank you for watching this video all the way through. I have a secret code word for you, which is beach. As in, I can't wait for summer until we can go to the beach. Write me a comment below with the word beach in it, just so I know who watched this video all the way through. I really, really appreciate you. Make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video. By the way, I do have some merch down in my description below, which is all related to financial independence. So if you would like to support this YouTube channel, Channel, then you can check out my merch store below. I will see you in the next video. Bye. And if you want to watch more videos, you can click on the links and click through to another video. And make sure you do subscribe and check out my merch store.